Yeah. Um, so we go open up, right? All right. Say, Kala Lal. Yeah, I'm going to say double honors to the elders at GMS that rule well and teach us yeah. and keep posting their videos and keep giving us commands to stay in the way and shoot on in the light. And yeah. to the brothers, all four corners are the earth that going through the trials, same way, doing what they have to do, same way, and humbling themselves before the Lord, same way. You know, I'm going to say shalom and I'm going to say to the most highly and truly bless all and keep all there. You know, because every day, every day is a is a fight to to to, to make it to the finish line, man. And well, this video is entitled Tunnel Vision, and it's just about keeping the eye on that one prize, now, man. You know, that's to help encourage you, brothers, that really going through it, now, man. Because sometimes you mightn't be going through anything, and that is when it will come to you. You know, that is when the affliction does, well, for me, that is when the affliction does come, when I'm not even thinking about it, when I find everything rolling smooth, that is when it does affect me the most. And you start to get comfortable. <laughs> yeah, you start to get comfortable. It has started, I just fear to, to, to stay in the zone now, but fear to remain with that tunnel vision, that single-mindedness. Okay. So there is, um... I have to step up here one time. All right, go ahead. Right. Eh? What? This my cat two was ten. You see, I rise in and the park not. So you are now saying more time, you know, to get comfortable now. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You see, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with a saw destruction. Can. You know? So yeah, here is not really your rest. That place of comfort is not here. No matter no matter if things going good or work, you know? It's polluted, it polluted. Even if you're doing things on, you couldn't work here, you're financially stable. You understand? Yeah, yeah, you're good with the world, but as if you're right, correct with the Lord, and that's the main thing to be correct with the Lord, and the Lord against the kingdom. You understand? So, yeah, yourself, yeah, yeah. You have your own house, you have vehicles, you know, everything financially real good with you. You know, it, it still can't be good because the Lord say, I am, he, the world is enmity with him. You understand? So, yeah. hey. It can never be good here, because you're not against this kingdom and against this place, so you know? Okay. Hey, it's not supposed to ever be good. You understand? So, hey, that's everything, everything boys, don't you know, which is dumb too. Right? Go on. Yeah, yeah go ahead. This sir, act two and two, and I will start from verse two. It says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure. Make not haste in time of trouble. Right? Now, the word I write means precisely, correctly, rightfully. That, 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 that basically synonyms for the word. Precisely. Yeah. So keep your mind precisely on that one goal to achieve that goal every day, which is to fear the, the Lord and keep the commandments. You dig? That is your goal every day, that your whole duty as a man. So, I'm going to read over verse 2. He says, set thy heart aright. And constantly endure. Make not haste in time of trouble. Done. Basically meaning, in times of trouble, go to your refuge. Don't make no haste. Don't make no haste. The reaction can you put yourself more in hot water. You understand? Mm -hmm. three. Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Done. Done. I basically keep it, keep Keep your eyes on the prize. Keep your mind on the most high at all times. Verse 4. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. You understand? So, it's basically, he go, he go raise you and he go put you down as he see fit. So, if, alright, let me say you're working on thing and as brothers will say, you're comfortable. It don't really necessarily mean you're forgetting. You know? It just means like you're not you're, you're, you don't really you're not feeling afflicted. You're oppressed, but not not afflicted. I don't know if that making sense, but I don't know how to say it. But it's like yes, you know you're in oppression. 
you're not happy about it, you know. But it it, it light now, but it light. It's not as heavy as you know, you might not you might not heavy with it now. Right? Mm-hmm. And then you go break your back down when you start to get too too comfortable in it. Where you see like, yeah boy, you're really going on slippy, let me, let me send him a little reminder that, you know, the Mosa is in control. I want to piece for you for that. That's good. that's right for that. Go ahead. If I can say quicker. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. You'll see that Jake's are Jake's have an obstacle in the self that like that is scary if they deal with affliction. You understand? Even even when you look at going back to the time of the Maccabees. When I was saying that they wanted to join onto the hidden because, sit, because since they depart from them, they had much sorrow. You understand? God. Jake, Jake, do like affliction, they like yes. everything to go smooth. But God, just, just like, just like the saying, Job, they say, Can we receive good from the Lord and not evil? But, when, but, but whenever that evil started to come about, Jake does look for alternatives, <laughs> and, and what, whatever comfort they does get, they does, t- they does tend to cleave to that comfort. And die, die with the die, dies with the obstacle as be. That's why when the Lord see that you start to cling to this place, he just separate yeah, yeah. because he know he don't wear attached to this kingdom. And that's why he that's why he's saying we should cleave on them and depart not away. That thou may be increased at thy last end. Can can I was trying to say now, I don't know what where do you come across as but yeah, okay, you hit the nail on the head there. Go ahead um, yeah, um the bar with your precept. Yeah, yeah, it's two precepts really. Um so you're saying considering um the Lord that you know video turn away. Right? And the time I'm do 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 haste now boy, don't leave. You yeah. can't clear and anything else, right? Um this Psalm 27, it was five. Right? You see here, um, for in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion. Mm-hmm. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. You understand? And now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies round about me. Mm-hmm. You understand? So, when you hear any, you know, your head will be on, he will lift up your head. Yeah, 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 all the time. When he say, that's all. So, let us know. Yeah, when he say, yeah, um, and now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies now, but round about me. You know, you don't have to be, you don't have to be men. You understand? Good. You don't have to be men. Well, well, the Lord say we use whatever, whatever spirit he can all spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you. Yeah, you understand? So it's everything now, boy. It's everything. You won't be comfortable at all now, boy. Can. You understand? Even if I understand what you're saying, we, you're, you're oppressed, but not afflicted now. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it, it'll be everything around you. Know? There'll be family, you know? You're just not feeling comfortable. You won't you have an easy feeling now, boy. Yeah. Doing good. You have everything, but still, it's like, you uh, so, ain't really relax, yeah. relax then. Yeah. Spiritually relax then now, boy, right? Um, and this is Psalm 91 here now, boy. You say, um, what you're saying now, I'm concerned when you're, when you're going, like, go off you, that's telling, hey, you just get a call of warning now. Remember you know what I'm Yeah, yeah. Right. You say, um, Psalm 91, verse 10 and 11. And right? he said, There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any play come near thy dwelling. Right? Because you're not afflicted. Mm-hmm. And, um, you say, no, no, you, you know, come not afflicted and you're oppressed but not afflicted, right? Mm-hmm. He said, Yeah, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any play come near thy dwelling. Right? And this for you going off here now, if in case you go off here, you have a small town. He said, for he shall give us the angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways because the man of your, your, your desire such as to go forward and, and, and be straight to the Lord now, boy. Right? Man. And you know, small obstacle or something to stray you. Yeah. Right? And you know, thing to stray you. Yeah. He said, yeah, like, you know, your eyes end up shifting from towards the prize, right? He said, for he shall give us the angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways because you want to follow. You want to follow. Right? He say, um, they shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. So the whole they're not they will pull you. Yeah. You understand? They will pull up. If you keep push you into push to push left, to push left, to push left, it's obviously yeah, you, you will leave it to go and do that. And then you have to get fast on. You yeah. understand? But they will pull you. Yeah. Right? Whatever they one left here. Yeah. Now, so when I finish, I want to fail. Yeah, I finish it. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. I wonder if, if I could also say too, remember, also like just like I just say as it, um, like it was in the past, it repeats in the same way now. Remember, when did, when did it leave Egypt? It had that angel watching over them, you understand? The Lord had actually. Mm -hmm. Lord actually give charge over them by angel and he say provoke where he say provoke him not for my name is in him yeah, that's yeah that. so that 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 same angel has been looking over you to make sure that you're doing the correct thing and if you're not going, if you're not going in accordance you'll have stripes to receive <laughs> you understand yeah i'll have a precept here you say um yeah. in matthew, in matthew 6 i'll start from 19 right yeah it said lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. And like how like I've ever seen that is used, I often tell people, I say in life you can have fun, but life is not about fun. Yeah, mm -hmm. life you can have a car, but life is not about having a car. Yeah. Yeah, can, can. It, it, all these things are just little privileges it has have, but it's not good to get caught up in them. Because when they get caught up and they get attached, that is when the problem does come. And that what that what the Lord does do. He is when enemy see us trying to get caught up, he does separate you from it. Oh, what what from what court? Trying to entangle you. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Because when the answer is exactly what trying to entangle you, you yeah, yeah, use that cell. Because remember, all the things that you have here is just to utilize. You know, it's just, just privileges that the Lord gave you, but it's not, it's not really what you're here for. It, it, it come like, it come like before, when Esau had you as a, like say, for example, Esau had you as a slave. You understand? He would give you a house, he would give you certain things to utilize, but you was there to do what Esau worked, not so? Yeah, you can. You see, when you're here, you're here to do the Lord's work as a man of the Lord. He might give you a house, he might give you a wife, and all these different things to help keep your mind out stable and it also be a reward for certain things that you did but it's not fair to get entangled and feel that this is your kingdom you still have a job to do but now, right. now it's just say um basically i'm um, using the world now but not abusing it yeah, exactly you know because keep it you start to keep your eyes focused and a sense so is like all right yeah well look just relax hold on enjoy yourself but you know make sure yeah, you have to still right you are still focused you know don't get caught because up when you have to the and that's the same thing he tells Solomon too, you know? Because the star wives soon now, boy, hey, don't no think of the world, they go straight from here. So it's like, it's too much now, but he's like, yeah, you can handle it, man. I want to try it. I'm not sure if I can do good to a thousand. Oh, you, you know? See, you know? So, Solomon, tell you, Solomon, 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 Solomon also didn't take heed to the law. Because the law did say what? It said don't multiply money and wives to yourself that your heart be turned away. You understand? Yeah. After, after a while, they started to corrupt your mind. Mm -hmm. And how you say don't multiply what? Don't multiply money and wives to yourself that your that your heart be turned away. Can, it, ha can. it have a lost it, no? Can, 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 can. Um verse 20 it say, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither mutt nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through and steal. Yeah, say, can, yeah, can. Verse 21 it say, For where your treasure is, there will yeah, your heart yeah, be all can. right. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll add two more. It said, The light of the body is the eye. It said, If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. You understand? And that, that, having that single eye we was talking about, tunnel vision, that goes back to aiming at the prize. You understand? I'm not, not, I'm not looking at things left and right that will actually stray you away. Gun. Exactly. Very good. Right, they say verse 23. They say, But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. <laughs> I know the, the, the scripture, I have a scripture that dies in um, John. They say, um, Walk while they have the light, lest darkness fall upon you. They say, For, for he that walk it in darkness, know it not whether he go it. Yeah, they say, Thy whole body shall be full of darkness. They say, If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness how great is that darkness mm. so that that is show you how how important having that, that single mindedness is there like, well, are certain things that you might be able to use in the world but it's not to abuse it in the sense of actually being distracted and going off of your part done 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 i'll piece up here yeah go ahead yeah, well. yeah, yeah. 
these Philippians, three verse um, 14 and 15. So I press toward the mark for the high the price of the high calling of the most high in my Mashiach Yahweh Shai. You see, let yeah. us therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded. Be thus minded. And mm -hmm. if in anything be otherwise minded, the most I the most I shall reveal even this unto you. So hey, that and I remember see too. He tell you, hey, you know, yeah. if you if you otherwise minded, so it tell you that it 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 day. It, 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 it would have things to show you. It would have things to the shock you. You understand? It would have things. And the reason why we say why we call why we say, you know, the elect why the elect is the elect. Right? Why the elect is the elect? Because hey, they're not going to be the shocker, they're not going to stray. You understand? No matter what obstacle, they will always come true. Yeah, yeah, boy. They'll always come true. You understand? You done there? Yeah. If yeah. I, well, I love a finish in Sarah In Sarah i go read over verse 4, right? Mm -hmm. Whatsoever is brought upon you, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. For gold is tried in the fire. Hebrews 5, for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Verse 6, believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in him. Mm. You understand? Okay. Because the same way you keep in that single mindedness. The minor romans that say, um, all things work far good for them that trust and love yeah. the Lord. Understand? Yeah. When you have a single mind in this towards your Basham, your Shai, all your love and all your trust will be in him. So even yeah. when the affliction come, most likely that the scripture will be running through your mind for gold is yeah, yeah. fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. That way you go watch it. You understand? Yeah. You just go and think of it. But it is that child I go and beat this child and I go be found acceptable. Like, it, 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 wouldn't, it wouldn't it wouldn't hurt, but it wouldn't really be as affliction. All it would be as another hurdle to cross to be accepted. And yeah, and that, that, that's spiritual because you know what? We, the spiritual men go see it as that. Exactly. We, we, we go like know, that. you know, in that next one, but all right. I do something, or it would be like, you just be at people. And you never have an idea. You understand? You mm. always ask, uh, you know, you understand why I can always accept it, but you will, you will know it. Hey, yeah, boy. I probably I'll do something in the you know, hey, you know, I end up doing this, you know. This happened, and they will study, but hmm, yeah, boy, that's what happened. You understand? To correct me. I do shit, eh? You understand? And then, you know, hey, you know, it's asking who you love now, boy. So that in your mind, so that just give us strength. Yeah. You know, for the when other people, when the tutors just like, hey, they're ready to give up. You going forward, they like, like oil for me, they like, they like gas. You understand? There's yeah, more I go for us than, than the next week. Can. Go bring up. You know? I'm going to piece up here. Go, go ahead, um, Yara. Uh, it said there's Ephesians 4 verse 26. It say, be angry and sin ye not. Can, can. Yeah, the sad. And just go back into like when you're, when you're being afflicted, you know, they're just like majority of jakes. Is whenever I had, it's just like when you talk about the, um, the sower. It say when, um, when affliction and persecution Start a hit to see there's there's girl offended for the word's sake and there's yeah. girl fan, go back doing things and not supposed to be doing because they're angry. Really and, really and truly, Lord already care how angry is. You understand? Yeah. You're still answer for your needs. That's why you're already be, even though you're, you're upset about certain things you might have to go through sometimes and it will happen to you. Because mm -hmm. an affliction hits you, you know, just, you just tend to rage. I just I just, <laughs> real, I just get real mad. But you just, have to, <laughs> you just have to try to keep a spiritual head. You understand? Mm -hmm. They say, um, they say, be angry and sin not. They say, let not thine, let, let not the sun go down upon upon your wrath. You understand? Mm -hmm. And they, 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 they understand. Then to know, hey, there's something you gotta go through. Even though yeah. it has be, even though it has be a process already, calm your mind from certain things. And sometimes that why the Lord will give your wife, you will give certain things that you can be able to do to help to keep you calm in the situation you're going in because he, because. If you had no, if you had nothing to really to really calm your mind or to help you through, you understand? You, you eventually malfunction. So you so, always you always, always put something there to actually help you to you know keep a level head and to and to go through it all easier. Some men, some men might be game, some men might be alive, some men might be you know. 
a, a vehicle to go to move, you know. Maybe the by maybe the earth and all and I feel to just sit down and and, and and that's an open place now. Okay. Everybody have a different a different piece of mind. Son. You understand? Know, Everybody have a different number. Some of them like to cook, you know, and that's giving them a, a ease and relax. You know? And they have to be thankful for every everything. And that would that, that would the brotherhood come in. Because that's some brothers, you know, that when you're around certain brothers, it has already be it has be different, it has be happy. Around certain brothers, you know, it, it always had a brother who you're close with. You understand? And it will take your mind off a of that. And then also being around the brotherhood also helps you to understand and, and, and to, to accept too. Because when 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 you you study in AI, this is going on with your situation you 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 face with. And then you're around the brothers and hear what our brother going through. Then it must be like, wait, nah boy, I, I share real life. You know? It's just real easy for me. Compared to what he had to deal with. You understand? Then you tell the town below again. I also pray for your brothers too. You know? Uh, I'll push up here. Yeah, go ahead. This is 2 um, Corinthians 10, verse um, 3. He says, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. You understand? Because you say, Baby, I'm going to say not. You know, you're walking in this flesh. You, you, these are these battles you have to face. God. You understand? This is the battle everybody had to face now, but you have to go through that flesh. Right? You say, but you do not walk after the flesh to get carnal. You're not supposed to be carnally minded. God. You understand? You are diluted different. You call it to be separate. You call it to be sheep. Yeah. You understand? You say, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Right? You have to deal with it like that. It does be hard. I know it does really be hard sometimes. That's what I like. But mighty, through the most I put a pulling off show holes now, boy. Yeah, yeah. Son, so these are we dealing with. That is all we were faced. When I'm studying here now, boy, we have to go and try to take that block to study here. We have to go and put that madness out of that doctrine. You yeah, understand? We have to study scriptures both to enlighten them, to shine a light on them, concerning the wisdom, I have about shine and shine. And yeah, someone, everybody is saying, can really. You know, when them building that, 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 when them building on the lane, that foundation physically, we lean it spiritually. That was according to what you're saying concerning Matthew. We're not laying treasures here. Son. You understand? That would be that go. We're not laying it here. The eyes, the way I see in. It's not how that. You understand? Yeah, go on. I remember. It had, um, it had a time I, I see a sharp pastor on TV now. The pastor said, if you had to go to heaven, he ain't going broke. You say what? <laughs> if he had to go to heaven, he ain't going broke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we we'll bring this priest up here. This is James 1. Uh, we'll start from 6. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. So he that waver it is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. Hmm. Let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. Hmm. Verse 8, the double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Uh, understand? Uh, uh, like the pastor I was talking about, the, the unstable. If you go into heaven, you have been broke. Like, I never seen no way in the commandments where it say <laughs> yeah, supposed to go to heaven. Yeah. Commandment. It's not lawful. So mm. he could do what he want. He could make it to heaven. Not but he could make it to heaven, you know. If if he's uh-huh. logic, he could make it, but he go out to come true, you know? Yeah, true our lines, he gotta come true. Yeah. He could make it. He might make it rich, but he go come true. I'm happy to put that out to piece of one with each right. You know the Arab region, yeah? <laughs> the Arab region, right? Um, first Timothy 6, 5. He said, Perverse disputing of men of corrupt minds and destitute of truth, supposing that gain is godliness from such a joy thyself. He hmm. said, But godliness is with content meant is great gain. For we brought nothing into the soul, and it is certain that we can carry nothing out. You understand? And having three men, let us be be contented. You understand? But you say, you know, nine, but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snake and into many foolish and hurtful lusts 
which drown men in destruction and perdition. You understand? We stand fine. We say, for the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some converted after, they have erred from the feet and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. And that's yes. serious thing. Because if he likes nice and he enjoying everything now, when book that might that might hit that microchip hit. But what happened with him if he don't go and take that? But you know he don't know he gonna take it because he wanna go with you, he wanna go in the best. Yeah. You understand? When he can get certain things, you understand? What gonna happen to him? He didn't know the sweet all the time. He didn't know he's not the golden spoon all the time. When you take the calabash bowl down, it it, it go and change. Uh, uh, he he killing himself. You sure he gonna kill himself? Yeah. Sure about that. You understand? But uh, we who know who going through the better. When the sweet come, we will enjoy it. We will be grateful. Um, you understand? Because we didn't know what the better was. And that was the main thing to let me know what the better is about. That we appreciate and love we Lord and not stray and error. Hey, go back to me. You understand? That's what it's about. So, hey, you know, that we always talk, that we always talk, that was mentioning me over and over. It's always me, me, me. You understand? Despite it up, hey, despite, you know, everything cool, always be me, always be humble. You understand? Uh, always be me, can humble. Right? And this is like this next piece of hard here for you, because you know what I'm saying? Um, with the, with the double minded man, right? Yeah. He's James 1. Mm-hmm. Um, he's, um, the start of, um, verse 24. He mm-hmm. say, For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way and straight away, right? Forgeteth what manner of man he was, right? Because yeah. I say, um, he, he, I'm not first of all, like, verse 23, right? He say, For if any be a hero of the world and not a doer, he is. Like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. Mm-hmm. You understand? So that kind of man, really and truly, you, you, you see your old self now, boy, right? You beholding yourself, your old self. He said, For he beholdeth himself and go at his way and straight away forget what man of man he was. So before you know, you were trying to find it all your souvenir, Lord. All right. You're your souvenir, Lord. And then now, you know what? You suddenly the lost part. You started to get kind of, you started to go after that cup. You started to covet. You started to go after that pool. You started to wickedness. You understand? So I say, forget what man and man you was now, boy. You and know? Talk about say, that go back to being a hypocrite. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, thanks. Beautiful, thanks. That is it. I'm going to finish up here. So like, Kelly. I'm going to finish up here. I'm going to finish up here. Yeah? I'm going to finish up here. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Man, Zach, you want to go through the house first? No, no, you go on now. No, no, I go come in with my last one here. All right, they say this Ephesians 4. I'll start from 17, right? Okay, see, the Koya's talking about just now, buddy. The man who was dist- who being distracted because really and truly riches is one of the yeah. distractions that it is getting in this world. You understand? Mm-hmm. You just like all with men is usually riches and, and women. That is two of men's biggest distractions is actually make it stray. Others, other things is be like idol worship and so forth. Say, um, there's Ephesians 4, I'll start from 17, it say, This I say therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth not walk, so, so like, yeah, ye henceforth walk not, as other Gentiles walk, in the vanity of their mind. Yes. And, and that is how these men does walk. They did all, did all, did all, did all, did all, for the last straight part according to these scriptures. They does, as the scriptures talk about, they say they does, um, they does, they does do what seem it right in their own eyes. And that is, that is what they does follow. Right? They say, having their understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of power through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart. You understand? Mm. That was already had them, had, them, had them going astray. The lust of the will. Or the lust of the flesh scriptures talk about. Mm. Which, goes, which all goes back to the same thing. Because we know, mm. it's like when we talk about the Esdras, they say it had the fire on one side. And the water on the next side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said the path so narrow that only one could go at once. That'll show you how 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 much you had to keep your, your sight single, straight forward. Oh, because if you only turn too much on the left or you turn too much on the right, you can get devoured. Come, come. All right. Yeah. I'm moving this piece up here. There's James 4, and I will start from 4. Mm-hmm. He adulterers and adulteresses. Know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with power? Whosoever, whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of power. Verse 5. Do ye think that the scripture saith in vain, 
the spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth to envy. Mm. Verse 6. But he giveth more grace. Wherefore, he saith, Power resisted the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. That going with what the Bible was saying about you had to be meek. Can. Understand? Mm -hmm. Remember, scripture said, Meek shall in every year. Understand? Verse 7. Submit yourselves, therefore, to power. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Now, when it, I just want to pause right there, because I have I, I, two more verses after this one, right? but I just want to break down this verse 7 here. He says, Submit yourself, no, verse 6, or okay. And he said, But he give it more grace. Wherefore, he said, Power resisted the proud, but give it grace unto the humble. Verse 7. Submit yourselves, therefore, to power. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Uh, yeah, it's verse 7. So now, when you have tunnel vision, right? Tunnel vision is, 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 or could be described as seeing one, being goal-oriented then. Yeah, that's what they would say then. In the university and them. Yeah, with the words of man, that's what they would say, being goal-oriented. So you see, <laughs> and that's what you're seeing. And that's <laughs> Or nothing else like if you have tunnel vision and we say you're pawn a helmet right and all it have is a little circle for you to see what's in front of you right? say, submit yourselves to power resist the devil if something touching you on your right hand side and you can't turn to watch it you have to resist it and keep walking forward not so because i want to see it forward you understand mm. right that is what single minded is about all right, something or as on your left hand side and your right hand side, you know, but all you know is by I can only see forward. I can't turn left, I can't turn right, it's only forward. Single mindedness we go in and meet our goal. Understand that what that what tunnel vision is about going to touch you that was seen in front of me. That is all that in front of me, that all that I need to achieve. Everything else, everything else irrelevant, basically. You understand? Yeah. Hey, James, what you saying, huh? No, go ahead, go ahead, it's not uh, Yeah. James 4? Yeah, 4 and 8. I will resume from 8. Draw nigh to power, and he will draw nigh to you. Good. You see, walking forward again, keeping your mind, keeping your sight on power. So the more you walk forward and draw nigh on the power, the more he go get closer to you. Okay. You understand? So draw nigh to if I could also say, okay, come like it, like if you're making an investment in something, or if you're playing, your, come like if a man, like in like carnally, if a man practicing a sport, or he doing something to actually better himself, you will see the more he actually go into it, is the better he does get at it. Yeah, it depends on how much energy you put into it, is how much energy you'll get back. Yeah, and the same thing with the more side, when you see a putting out the energy in him, you will, he will give it back also. Yeah, done. Done. He said, verse 8, draw nigh to power and he will draw nigh unto you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Verse 9, be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Verse 10, humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. Son. And if I can say, that's a big, that's a big trial that most Jakes can do, because to humble yourself in in any in, in a situation of affliction is one of the hardest things to do, because any man, any man can serve can serve the Lord, well, not any man, but you know, it a lot of men that can serve the Lord when when they're actually going through a joyful time. But when you when your house burned down and your wife leave you and all these different things, and you still had a God and 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 preach the gospel, like some men can't deal with that. You understand? And I why he said be afflicted and mourn and weep and lay your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Can that will happen from time to time? It's a, it's a lot of people also say, um, choose rather the house of mourning than the house of um, choose the house of mourning rather than the house of that celebration or something like that, boy. I like that one you like too in Psalms talk about um the, the requirement that the Lord is um is a broken spirit. A broken and, spirit, yeah, can. Yeah, yeah. You require a broken spirit. And a contrite yeah, heart or something. So something like that. I don't remember exactly what the precept went. I think that I think it's one shorter. 
But the, all, 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 all these things, I guess like how you say, too much tribulation, you shall enter the kingdom. All these, even, well, even if it might be on an extreme scale or, or a small scale, you had to go through it in some way. You still had to try and keep your eye, your eye on the well, prize. Just think about it, eh? Really think about it, right? Them who are going through will always be calling on the Lord. Who goes suffering, they will always be calling on the Lord. The man will always be on the Lord. And that will happen. No, no, yeah, whether it be spiritual, a man to me or not, and things good, you might not really be, you know, things good to so the reason it doesn't really stay, you know, that much of things going good. Most is when men, men, men going to hell. Con. You understand? But if you're, if you're always going to hell, you're affected, you're always around, but you're affected, right? Instead of you having, but you're always around, but you're always going on things. Or you could, you could not stay, you know, but you're not stay, but you're praying, you're praying too. You're in the house. They want to pray to the Lord for them. That's not. Right. Yeah, right. They always be on the mind. They always talk to the Lord. That's not. What are you saying, huh? That's not. I'm not exactly hearing that noise. That kind of squeaking noise. Yeah, I can buzz that thing. Like. Yeah, yeah. Of yeah. course, I know. Not so that. I can buzz when I talk. <laughs> well, I know. I I know. I remember. But it is. I was um. It is. I was going to say earlier. I know. I remember. Um. Put it into. But then it's um, we are saying about the rich men about going and wanting to go into heaven rich and they say about being afflicted but really and truly this affliction it is go in many different ways and one of them is actually being worthy of the things you're going to receive son you understand because what because the second talk about um the second is just said we talk about they say if he not if he go through not the perils that are set before him how, how could he receive the things after you understand yeah, exactly. All these things are actually things you have to go through to be worthy of what it is you have to receive. But yeah. men, men, do, men don't even want to put in that work. They want to be have it nice now and they want to have it nice then. Huh. Right? Are you there? Yeah. Anybody have more precepts? Uh, that's it for me there. Yeah, um, I want more. Right. Uh, you second know, John 5 15. Mm -hmm. yeah, and that he died for all that they which live should should not henceforth live unto themselves Can. but unto him which died for them and rose again <laughs> and 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 why i wish i say you know he say hey he come to do the will of his father so, you know that's what we, that's what we focus now boy yeah he didn't even yeah, live for himself yeah? he didn't even live for himself but and that the example that we say that, that was a perfect example now boy. And yeah, in a sense, we no matter what we should have that same vision, you know, that one and quarter, they go straight and not 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 straight to the left or to the not to the right. Son. You understand? Know that you say for he he died for all, so you know what? Hey, yeah, likewise, don't study, don't study nobody. I study, hey, you know, my Lord died for me, and this is what he tell me to do. Let me study me to be focused, and if everybody like minded, everybody and everybody study the self to be focused and be on the right, then all do it, you know. Then all do it. So yeah, how do I see mine? That I'm not seeing mine being you because we Lord. Right? Well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Nice of you. Mm -hmm. Nice of you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. We just wanna say, Kala Lal, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Shabbat Shalom. Double S once again. Yeah, those are GMS that rule well. Teach us. Son, you want to say shalom to the brothers spread across the earth, to doing the very best, by right? doing the very best. Stay in this way, the shoot on the slide, but right? crying in the morning. You understand? Constantly. Constantly. In season, out of season, continue crying in the morning. You understand? Yeah. Um, I have Brother Manatazak of GMS Chenaris. Uh, there is Araba. And the bar. Right, and all the brothers who mourn, sigh and cry, on a say Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.